Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today we're gonna finally check out the new Beta FPV Pavo 20 Pro updated for the O4 Pro system. And they basically took their time to just redesign the canopy, which is the only change in this drone since the previous version. The packaging is new, everything is very, very well protected inside. You have, first of all, the new canopy redesign for the O4 Pro. The drone itself, which basically is the same as the old O3, you get all the hardware to need to install the O4 and also an adapter to connect to the flight controller. Extra Beta FPV Gemfan 2.2 inches 3 bladed propellers and an optional single color LED strip. I actually wish they would have kept the addressable RGBs coming from the Nightfire edition together with this translucent plastic because I feel like it looked incredibly incredibly cool. Maybe it's gonna come for the O4 version as well because this was a limited edition, it's sold out. But actually, I don't think it's gonna be much more expensive to make, but so much cooler. If you already have this, or if you already have a O3 Pavo 20 Pro, you can just buy the canopy or actually even 3D print it. I 3D printed it before this came out and I was having a Nightfire Edition O4 Pro. And boom, I just installed the O4 Pro system. It looks super neat. It's very easy to do. You even have the connector already installed. And the weight is 106 grams. With the recommended 550 milliamps battery, you are at 149. This drone is super light, is 3S, and it's gonna have a nice power to weight ratio. I can't wait to fly it. The frame and the canopy seem to be quite, quite solid. They are gonna be hard to break. And also the O4 itself has a little bit of protection from crashes. And also you don't get anything in view unless you really use it at zero degrees, you get a little bit of the corners here, but it's gonna go away in the stabilization. So they did a very good job. The carbon fiber is two millimeter thick and the whole camera assembly is soft mounted with some rubber grommets. It's not very, very, very soft mounted, still feels super stiff. We're gonna check in a moment if it has jello or not. And on the bottom you get a very nice battery strap with battery holder so you can put different sizes of batteries. The electronics are the same as the O3 version. You got 1104 7200 kV motors. They look very nice with this red accent. And you get a F4 flight controller with 20 amps ESCs. It can accept two or three S batteries. And finally, it's time to fly. I'm gonna use a 550 milliamps 3S HV battery, which is the recommended size for this drone. And I already know it's gonna be quite zippy. So many people, maybe beginners, don't have the sensitivity for the throttle. For those people, I recommend either using a 3S battery and lowering the throttle percentage. I'm gonna show you in a moment how to do that. If you wanna fly indoors and make the drone a little bit tamer, I'm gonna also try later a 1000 2S battery. So it has less power and it's gonna move a little bit smoother. Let's fly. So first of all, it sounds quite smooth. Quite smooth, doesn't make too much noise. And actually it doesn't feel, yeah, it's a little bit zippy. Now my thumbs are, uh, are quite used to flying, so I can uh, adjust the throttle. Maybe for a novice, I hear a lot of people complaining about the throttle being a little bit too sensitive. Let's put it in acro and see if it has jello. I see some little shake, but it's pretty, pretty well tuned. And I don't think this shake is gonna go into the, into the stabilization footage. So when you push, it makes a little bit of noise, but the tuning on this drone seems to be very, very, very nice. And I remember the O3 version, I flew with it like one month ago with the O4 on it. And this drone is really, really good. It has the power if you need, it's smooth. And I know a lot of people are gonna ask if it's better than the Flyland Z5 and the Flytime Z5. I don't know. I don't know. It's up there for sure. It's just a question of preference at this point. This is gonna be like 40, 30 grams heavier, which is uh, not a deal breaker probably. It's gonna have uh, quite a bit more power. It has 
If you go slow, maybe better efficiency since it has a little bit bigger propellers, which is always a pro. It's the same size as those drones, but it has bigger propellers. So at that point, it's a pro. I don't think it has jello. So the softman works. It's more resistant. Uh, I don't know, my heart loves the Flyland Z5. But maybe for a beginner, this is gonna be a little bit more um, resistant package. You can do everything. You can fly indoors, outdoors. Really, really, BDFPD made a really nice drone. So I don't know, it's a question of preference in my opinion. They all are pretty good. Oh, we have the chicken ready. He's gonna try and find the exit, but... Ah, okay, the bush is always... Oh. Ah, that uh, chicken chase didn't last long, did it? Come on. <laughs> Man, this table is freaking rusty. No, chicken got, uh, have gotten smart. They don't... Uh, they don't get chased anymore. Look at that. Crazy. Also, I have, up, I have updates on the Magpie Nest. They have uh, kept building it a little bit. And they are fighting with a crow, actually. <laughs> I don't know what, what's happening. But they also have built other three nests. One on one of these trees down here. I saw them building it. And another one in another tree I didn't find, but they have three nests and they are fighting a battle with crows. So I feel like the crows, no, no, actually I don't feel like, I have seen the crow coming and destroying their nests, it's, uh, it's wild. So I don't know, Let, let's see what happens. Still that nest is too close to my house and I don't think they're gonna be very happy having uh, the the puppies there. Man, the chicken is just crazy. They disappear every time I fly. They were back here a minute ago and they've all disappeared. They are very smart actually. They learned and probably they are all hiding inside the bushes inside here. The signal on this drone is slightly better than the fly lens just because it's using the original antennas from the O4 system and that's a pro. What is this? Ah, it's a pigeon. Pigeon that doesn't care about the drone. Look at this. Whoa! I love small drones. They... <laughs> The chicken have just, uh, oh, maybe, maybe, no, 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 no. Where the hell are they? So 10 volts, the battery, it's, uh, it's very low. I should start coming back. We have been flying for five minutes, 29, which is a respectable time. I need to land, I forgot to look at the voltage. But still, okay. New battery, fresh battery, 5 minutes and 40. It's not bad at all. And now it's time to fly with the 1000 milliamps, which doesn't fit horizontally because the mount for the battery is too tight. I needed to put it vertically, but still it's gonna fly fine. Now, if you don't wanna use a 2S battery, you only have 3S, which is probably the recommended thing. You can do this with your stick and go to throttle limit and just reduce it to the point you feel a little bit more confident when you begin. I'm gonna leave it at 100 because I have the 2S now. But that's a quick thing you can do to just make the drone a little bit tamer. So with a 2S battery it's gonna be a lot more tamer, yeah. Yeah, it feels tamer than the fly lens fly times for sure it has lower kv motors maybe it's gonna even more be more efficient because you don't have that explosive power 
But still it's flying considerably good for having a 2S battery. Flies smoother. I, I didn't expect it to be flying uh, this good. For sure it's not tuned for this battery. But yeah, you have a little bit more... Oh my god, I didn't see that... Uh, <laughs> that pull. You have a little bit more control on your throttle, which for beginners is not bad. Aha, there they are. I told you, they are all in the freaking bushes. Come on. Man, this, this chicken got super, super smart. And you see... Oh my god, they have the freaking hole now. Come on, I don't have good signal. Let me put it in. Does the drone fit inside the chicken hole? No, no, it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> it's too wide. Come on, it's... Uh, maybe I'll try again. <laughs> I did it, it's just um, one millimeter per side. It just barely fit. Wow, they really have gone. But yes, maybe if you have uh, two S batteries laying around, it's a suggestion I can give you to try them. If you don't and you buy this drone, maybe get the recommended 3S batteries and just lower the throttle limit at the beginning if you feel the drone is a little bit too zippy. Like this, you're gonna be controlling it better indoors, you're gonna have a little bit more uh, precision. And still it's flying pretty good. I am glad I tried it because I, I had this curiosity since the Flight controller is uh, 2 3S rated. I don't know if it's uh, gonna hold the battery, if it has a battery eliminator circuit or not. Like if I push below the recommended... Vo oh my god, okay, no, maybe a low throttle, it, it doesn't feel pretty, pretty good, you see? you lose uh, authority over the drone because the motors are spinning uh, too slow. So maybe yes, 3S is the way to go. And in fact, it's the recommended battery. They would have made it 2S with uh, more kV. Now the question is, it's very hard to drop the voltage because the battery with these motors is super efficient. I want to check out if the O4 turns off if you throttle too much because that's something that can happen on 2S drones and maybe that's another reason I would uh, not advise you to run 2S on this drone. Just use the throttle limit. Yeah, probably is, uh, is the best advice. I'm, now that the battery is sagging, I see... Oh, yeah, 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 it starts to fly bad. It's, it's not made to fly 2S. Don't do it. Just if you have it, it can be a quick way of adjusting the throttle, but yeah. As long as you fly level, it works kind of fine. Now I'm just trying to discharge the battery, but it's really hard because these motors are pretty efficient at 2S. And also I need to I, I didn't take the photos of the drone. Man, I cannot crash this drone. But it's pretty efficient. With a 1000 milliamps 2S, you're gonna do probably 8 minutes of flying if you go indoors, even 10. I tried dropping the battery voltage below 5 volts in my hands and the camera was still on. This is very good. It has a nice battery limiter circuit. Whatever happens, you're gonna remain in control of the camera. Still, it's gonna land way before you can drop the voltage that low. And I feel like this updated Pavo 20 Pro from Beta FPV is another S-tier little Cinewhoop. It's everything you want it to be. It's light, it's efficient, it's quite silent, but it's also powerful, it flies amazing, and really it can do everything. It doesn't have jello, and it's very good for indoors and outdoors shot. Also, it's quite resistant, so if you are a beginner, I feel like Maybe you should go with this one. And I know everybody in the comments is gonna ask me which drone I like the most between the Pavo, the Flylands 85 and the Flytimes 85 from Flywoo. I feel like they're all S-tier drones. Each one has his own place. 
If you want something that's very, very versatile, a middle ground between a 4S and a 2S drone, get this one. It's the most powerful and the most resistant, but of course it's also a little bit heavier than this other option, 40 grams. It's not a lot, so probably for beginners and to have something versatile, I would say go with the Power 20 Pro. If you need something more specific and you fly a lot over people, you are a little bit more expert, you don't crash that much, go with one of these two. And as always, that's all for today. Remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know what do you think about this Power 20 Pro. Let me know if you have it, if you like it. And also, which drone you like the most between the three I showed you today. Stay safe and happy flying. Bye.